Hey everyone, Merrick's here, bringing you another video. This one is going to be another one of the uh, Z-Plate videos. This time I'm using my Gooker at uh, 5 Star Silver. I do want to say, like, Gooker has been really unimpressive to me at 5 Star Silver, <clears throat> just because the damage hasn't been there. This plate fixes that. Um, I will show you guys how big he hits on turn 2 with this plate, and then... Um, how big he hits on turn one uh as well it makes it, it's a big big difference uh if i got this plate and i didn't have edge i think this would make gooker extremely viable uh for a couple different reasons so i do have his gear um so i have more options uh have the edge plate on here well the z plate i call it the edge plate um we have the Z-plate on, and basically what I've done is I have stacked blue damage like crazy. Uh, you can see every trainer I have is blue. Trainer and coach. Double Fury. All that good stuff. 14.8k uh, on the blues before we use the plate. Going to put our countdown gems out. And we're playing for turn two. If we get a match of blue on turn one, it's even better. We don't have it. So this is the turn two setup. The traditional, probably, Gooker setup. You can see that ups the blues to 17.5k. And then we also have this guy here that lowers um, chances of kicking out 35% uh, for two turns. Now we're going to buff our gems 30%. If we had a blue match, we'd be able to hit it again and get the countdown gems out again. So I'll probably run this one twice or a few times to see if we can get that scenario to happen to see how big the hit is on turn two that way. And then this lowers our countdown gems, and it's a one-charge move. So uh, we can do it every turn. Oh, I did get the blues. Never mind. Uh, but I don't have... It's not feud. In Feud, the buff would be charged. However, I can put four more countdown gems off, and we can get the the blues to go up again. So it was 22.8k after I hit the, the buff move. In Feud, we'd be able to hit the buff move again, but we're going to get the buff of 50% gem damage right here. And now you can see we're 26.3k. And when we hit this, basically the entire board's going to turn blue. And we're probably going to wipe all of the 1.4 million hell Z-Taker had. No Cascade at all. So no love there. We did hit for a million damage on turn two. Um, and it recycled. So. I'll run it again. And then uh, I'll do the turn one setup as well. I'll just run it the same, and I'll change him um, next time for the turn one setup. This is a really fun plate. Uh, Zombie Seth, obviously, it would be great on. Uh, another CC, I believe, wanted to do it on Zombie Seth, so I did not want to uh, steal their idea. Hopefully they follow through on it, so you guys can see it on Zombie Seth. I know a lot of people want to see that.
we should get another very big boom here. Hopefully we get some kind of cascade. Not really. Eh, still 900k though, not bad, right? Alright, I'll show you guys the turn 1 setup. Uh, doesn't hit quite as hard, doesn't recycle um, as easily necessarily. Um, but the blue countdown gem part recycles itself, so the longest you're going to go is two turns anyway. Um, so let's do that. News. We're going to put this eight black MP move in here. Take the buff move away since it's only 30%. It's not huge. It is nice, but it's not huge. And then trainers, I'm going to need to put uh, some MP in. Sasha, I think it gets applied to the base. So we'll run one with Sasha, one with Edge, and see which gives us the bigger um, the bigger blues. I kind of think it's going to be Edge, unless Sasha's 2.2k goes to the base, uh, in which case... It will be her. So, Ted is fine. That's plenty of MP. Okay. And if you have Gooker, you can get him turn one this way. Uh, you can use Bray instead if you don't have the gear. Um, or you can use dual, uh, dual MP trainers. And this way you can get him turn one with the countdowns. So we're up to 15.6k now on the blue gems this way. And like I said, we'll put edge on and see if we get higher than 15.6k. So that is how you get Gooker turn 1. This will probably hit 7 to 800k. Depending on Cascades, could go a little bit bigger. Nothing great for Cascades, so yeah, right in that 700k range. And he can't kick out. So, what were we, 15.2k or something? Let's try Edge instead of Sasha. This plate's really good. Okay, let's see what we get. 15.3k, so Edge is slightly better. Like uh, most classes, Trickster gets a healthy gem boost at 5 star gold, so um, I think you could potentially make a case for Gooker with this plate. He needed something like this, assuming you have gear. <clears throat> to boost his uh, gem damage 
Otherwise, it just wasn't there for him. Um, this definitely makes all the difference in his usefulness. This this plate is certainly a game changer for Gooker. Seven hundred thirty k again. We got that decreasing his gem damage there, and he can't kick out. So, yeah, um, this plate's super good. There's so many guys uh, I could use it on. Um, I'm limited by how many plates I can take off. Obviously, um, because Scopely is allowing us to do these previews, this is not my um, skill plate. If I can get more um, plate removal stuff, I have a few other cards I potentially could try this on. I don't want to do all of them, though, because I would like to let other content creators be able to do some if they want as well. And some of them were um, their ideas so I don't want to steal like Zombie Seth, someone specifically called out, and I don't want to take their the one that they specifically uh, talked about. Um, but there are a couple that I could potentially do decent um, setups for if I can get some more removal currency in time and stuff. Uh, but so I did the two I had: Steamboat at five star gold, and now Gooker. And I think Steamboat it's not bad on Honky Tonk Man plate is really really good though, so I'm not sure I would change for that. But on Gooker, this is something he needed that brings him back to relevancy as far as potentially being a top tier trickster, assuming you have the gear and this plate. I think uh, Gooker could potentially make an argument for moving back into the top five at trickster in a very loaded class. Um, just because of how much you can do turn one, turn two, uh, sort of thing with this setup. So, uh, hopefully you guys like this. If you have Gooker, um, great. Even without the gear, you can go double MP trainers. You're still going to hit hard. And again, um, to do the turn one thing and then, you know, the blue recycles, the one MP move recycles. If you get lucky enough to get a black cascade, then you can do it every turn. Otherwise it's every other turn after the first turn. So... Um, or set up for the big turn too. Um, and then you, you know, so it's just, he's, it, it definitely brings him back to relevancy and for search for sure gets him in the conversation of being a top tier trickster. So this plate is, a uh, I would say makes more of a difference for Gooker than say even it does for edge. Well, it's great on edge and it makes edge better. Edge doesn't necessarily need it to be relevant in the current meta. I don't think he needs it at all. It just makes him better. This literally would make Gooker uh, relevant again, in my opinion. So very great plate for him. If you have Gooker, if you get this plate, um, you might you might consider, again, leveling him. So anyway, guys, uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, remember to like, it, subscribe, and share, as that really helps me out. Other than that, good luck out there, and thanks for watching.